Hello data lovers I hope you all are doing really well Welcome back to the version 2.0 of SQL interview pro series the most important series to practice SQL interview questions I have already covered version 1.0 of it where we created almost 10 videos over all 40 SQL interview questions I hope you got a chance to learn a lot of new concepts of SQL whatever fundamentals we discussed and same thing we will continue from now onwards as well so if you haven't practiced the first playlist I would highly recommend you can start it right now and you can definitely practice these SQL interview questions for free on code studio platform by coding ninja I have provided the link in the description as well it's completely free and that is what I will be solving live in this video so make sure to hit the like button for this new playlist of SQL interview questions also hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon so that you can get the notification of all these videos and I am hoping you will follow the same thumb rule first read the questions whatever I will be solving today and try to attempt it by your own write your own approach put it in the comment section and then watch my solution all right so this is our first question which is in the easy category and name is the big countries so let's look at the data we have a table named as world it has almost five columns the country names continent the area in kilometer squares population and the GDP so as per the problem statement a country is big if it has an area of bigger than 3 million square kilometer or a population of more than 25 million write a SQL query to output big countries name its population and area so this is the output which we need to generate this is the input we have so this looks very simple for anyone or a beginner level questions you want to practice this is the best thing where you want to play around the filter related conditions how to apply it so let's write the solution for it very simple we will simply use the where clause in the where clause we will write two condition and we will use the or operation select name second we want the population third column we want the area from which table we have a table named as world so this is the table we have where population greater than equals to 25 million means 25 and then six zeros this will become the 25 million or area greater than equals to 3 million 3 4 5 right so this will become 3 million right so now let's execute this one so this is the output which was expected here country Afghanistan Algeria so this is the output and pretty much very simple simple where clause we need to use let's move on to the next question all right so this is our second problem statement and the it is also in the easy category sales executive so we have the three tables one is the sales person so this actually contains the detail of the sales guy in an organization and each sales guy has their name salary communication rate hire date and the sales id is assigned to every salesperson right and we have this table company right red orange yellow city and we have a orders table where uh, we are capturing the entries for orders made by the sales executives and for which company they made the sale so this kind of data we have here three tables orders table company table salesperson so here the problem statement is output all the names in the table salesperson who did not have sales to company red right means we need to print the name of those sales executive who did not made any sale for company which is named as red right this is the output me mark and alex so if we look at the orders table itself right we can see these are the two candidates or sales executive whose sales id is one and four only these two sales executive actually made the sales for company id one and company id one actually belongs to this red so that means we need to discard these two candidates from our output and after that whatever 
are the remaining sales person inside this sales person table we need to display their names so this also looks pretty much simple what we will try to do we will use the join operation first of all means we will join orders table with the company table based on the company id column right and that will be a inner join so during the inner join we will also include the condition that join should only happen if the company name is red means only this record will get joined with this record from the orders table so after doing the inner join we will get those sales person ids which actually made the sale to this company which is red right and then we will write the outer query and we will do a lookup means from this table we will simply include those sales id which are not the part of this result which we will calculate here so let's try to implement it so first part is select what we want we want to have from the orders table means od dot sales id and we will pick the distinct sale id okay so after doing this what we want we want to pick the data from orders table so od and then what we want we want to do the inner join with the company table so company table cp and the join condition will be od dot company id should be equivalent to cp dot company id and another condition what we want here that cp dot name should be equivalent to red because we do not want to uh, operate on any other company's data right so this query let's just execute it and let's see the output what what we will get here okay so you can see sales id one and four so this inner query is actually giving us the sales id now we will write one more outer query and we'll use this intermediate data for the lookup purpose right so what we are going to do here select sp dot name that will be our salesperson name right and from which table sales person alias is sp where sales id of sales person table not in right so not in operation and we will enclose it here now if we do this all right so after selecting it let's quickly execute it we can see these are the three folks emmy mark and alex so this was also uh, another simple one but definitely a good one to solve for those folks who are practicing the inner join kind of queries not just inner join basically join type of queries along with that some lookup type of operations because in your interviews these are very very common questions right where you need to figure out something these kind of problem statement basically uh, means did not made a sale did not contributed did not purchase uh, any item or did not place any order these kind of problem statements you will definitely get in your interviews so this is the logic you can follow this is the another problem statement again from the easy category the problem statement is directors actor so we have a table named as actor director here we can see column name uh, three columns actor id director id and timestamp timestamp is the primary key column for this table so this is the data which we can see each row we can simply understand this is a unique row because timestamp is the primary key so here what is the problem statement write a sql query for a report that provides the pair where the actor have co-worked with the director at least three times means we need to print the pair of that actor and director who actually worked together at least three times at least three times and they can even work more than that so this is the data which we can see and in the output this is the pair which has been printed how it has been printed because if you look at the frequency count of this pair which is actor id one director id one 
सो हाउ मेनी टाइम्स इट अकर्ड इन दिस टेबल वन टाइम सेकेंड टाइम थर्ड टाइम दिस पेयर वन टू वन टू इट एक्चुअली अकर्ड टू टाइम्स दैट इज वाई दिस इज नॉट एलिजिबल दिस पेयर टू कॉमा वन टू कॉमा वन दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉट एलिजिबल राइट सो वी नीड टू राइट दी क्वेरी फॉर दिस वन सो आफ्टर लुकिंग एट दी आउटपुट वी कैन डेफिनेटली से दैट वन कॉमा टू टू कॉमा वन आर नॉट द सेम पेयर बिकॉज इफ दैट वॉज द केस वन कॉमा टू वन कॉमा टू बेसिकली टू फ्रीक्वेंसी हेयर टू कॉमा वन इफ वी कंसिडर इट वन कॉमा टू इफ बाय चेंजिंग दिस सीक्वेंस सो टोटल फ्रीक्वेंसी काउंट फॉर दिस पेयर विल बिकम थ्री एंड इफ वी कंसिडर दिस वन इट विल बिकम फोर दैट मीन्स वन कॉमा टू इज ऑल्सो सेटिस्फाइंग द कंडीशन बट दैट इज नॉट इन द आउटपुट सो वी कैन सेफली एज्यूम दैट दिस वन कॉमा टू टू कॉमा वन आर नॉट द सेम ईयर वी ओनली नीड टू डील विद दीज काइंड ऑफ सीक्वेंसेज आइडेंटिकल और यू कैन से डिस्टिंक्ट सीक्वेंस सो let's write the query and uh, the logic is pretty much simple we will be using the group by operation with having clause so group by we will use these two columns together because we need to consider a pair so for that one actor id director id will become the part of group by keys and in the having clause we will take the count of the records which we found in this table after grouping on these two columns and we will use it for the conditional check greater than or equals to 3 so select actor id and in the output we need to include the director id as well director id from actor director table group by actor id comma director id having clause count greater than equals to 3 right so now if we select it and we simply execute it all right this by keyword is missing let me place it now we can see this was our expected output actor 1 director id 1 was the expected pair here so again pretty much simple uh, basic fundamentals of group by and the having clauses so now let's look at the last question for this video so this is the last question the problem statement combine two tables so we have a person table a person id is the column name first name last name person id is the primary key here we have another table named as address here address id person id city id state id so address id is the primary key of this table whereas the person id column is the foreign key in this table so what we need to do write a sql query for a report that provides the following information for each person in the person table regardless if there is an address for each of these people or not so simply we need to print the output here we do not need to calculate uh, any typical thing here it's just uh, we need to do the join operation of this person table with the address table and uh, doesn't matter the match happen for it or not the idea is we will simply use the left join operation so the main question which arises here for all the beginners how we identified that we need to apply the left join why not the inner join right join or any other kind of join so that is basically based on this part regardless these kind of keywords actually so in your problem statement these type of keywords will help you that what kind of join operation you need to present so it says that regardless if there is an address for each of those people or not means we can consider we can not consider if match happens that is also good if match doesn't happen that is something we can also include so in this case left join makes more sense because on the left hand side we will put the person table right hand side we will put the address table and we will join them together based on the left join operation so let's apply it and do it so select so person from the person table we will bring the first name we will bring the last name from the address table we will bring the city we will bring the state from 
persons table which is p left join address table a on p dot person id equals to a dot person id all right so let's simply execute it and here we can see uh, in the data set because nothing was given here so whatever is the data in the person table everything got executed and uh, looks like for this person ln there was no entry in the address table that is why these two columns are actually null here so that is what i had for this video so we actually practice four questions from the easy category slowly gradually this level will be increased from medium to hard to ninja level all type of questions will be solved so make sure you also practice these questions along with me follow this sql 2.0 series which is dedicated for the interview preparation that is something going to help you a lot in any type of your interviews be it the data engineering data analyst data science business analyst bi engineering whatever it is it will be really helpful and as i said earlier i want more and more people to practice these sql questions so make sure to hit the like button quickly so that this can reach to maximum number of people hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon as well so that you will quickly get the notification as soon as i upload the next part of it till then keep solving these questions i will see you guys in the next video till then just keep exploring data